Okay, so you probably know the drill by now. First we give you pictures and say write the name for this, and then we give you names and say draw the picture for this. So here it is with benzene. And they start us off with methyl benzene, which means we have benzene ring. There we go. And now we attach a methyl group to it. Now because this is my benzene, I can put my carbon number one anywhere I like. I'll put it somewhere weird just to prove the point. CH3. There, that's methyl benzene. If you decided to put your methyl group on one of these other carbons, terrific, that's equivalent to what I just did. And by the way, because this is on the left, if you want to be stylish and write H3C instead of CH3, that also is a perfectly valid way to write this. 135 trimethylbenzene. Well, benzene means start with this. Now, three methyl groups, and they go on carbon number one, not on two, yes on three, not on four, and yes on five. So they're symmetrically arranged around here. So there's a methyl group, and there's a methyl group, and here's another methyl group. Or phenylheptane. Okay, well, this can wait for a moment. Heptane is our first concern. That's our primary. So, hept means seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. And on the fourth carbon, one, two, three, four, we attach a phenyl group. Phenyl being what we call benzene when it's a branch stuck onto something else. So that is four phenylheptane. 2,3-diphenylnonane, well, nonane is our primary, so start there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The second carbon has a phenyl group on it. And the third carbon also has a phenyl group attached to it. So, that's our formula. If you wanted, I suppose we could put the hydrogens on this if we wanted to be complete. This carbon has used three of its bonds, so it only holds one hydrogen. This one has used three bonds, it gets one hydrogen. Then we get a string of CH2s. We actually get a lot of CH2s. We could do some bracketing with this if we wanted to shorten the name down. And so there's our kind of condensed structural formula, and if you wanted to really go for it, you could say, you could replace all this, this stretch here, which is five CH2s, you could put CH2, five instead, if you wanted to write slightly less. Now they ask for a line structural for this one. So if we start with no name, nine carbons, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the second one would have, I get to draw hexagons now. And hexagon off of this. And each hexagon gets a circle inside it. There's my crudely drawn line structural formula for 2,3-diphenylnonane. Nine carbon stick with two benzene stuck onto it. And 1,3-diethylbenzene means start with the benzene. On the first carbon, which I have decided is this one, put an ethyl group, meaning two carbons. On the third carbon, which uh, I'll go counterclockwise just to show that you can, also put an ethyl group. So that's 1,3-diethylbenzene. If you want to finish it, put the hydrogens on here. 
H two C H three, and there. And last one, one methyl four purple benzene. Uh, da, da. Benzene is the primary, so get that down. There we go. Carbon number one has a methyl group on it. I'll put that at the top. Carbon number four, if this is one, I'll go clockwise. Two, three, four. That gets a propyl group. Propane has three carbons, so this would be C, 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 and we'll fill in the hydrogen because the last one will do a nice job. C, H, three.